And then we have model three. This whole panel is warm. That's interesting. It is a brisk 16 degrees here in Colorado right now. We got the snow going, but we got two cars out here. We got the Model S in the background, and here we have the Performance Model 3 in the foreground. What we want to see is, are the cameras heated? So there have been some posts online. Actually, people had like their car out, and supposedly they saw like no snow was collecting around the cameras and whatnot. Well, we can see right here on the front, uh, we got plenty of snow on both of them. So we can tell that's not there. But it also could be because it was preheating. So what we're gonna do real quick is we got the FLIR right here. I'm gonna walk around the car with the FLIR so we can get like a baseline. And then what we'll end up doing is we have a GoPro hooked up right there. And we will preheat the cars, time lapse it. I'll put some times up so you can see how far along it is. And then at like maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes, I don't know, we'll see how it looks when a lot of the snow's off. We will re-fleer the car. So, oh, you can see where my I walked, that's fun. You can see how much warmer it is under the car. Okay, so here is the Model S. You can see the side camera. Max of 40 degrees. And neither car has been driven a long time as you can tell by the snow you can see that camera right there nothing on it and here is the model 3 you can see that camera no increased temperature oh wow look how cool the snow looks on there that's cool oh here's model 3 and clear sorry distracted and then here is the Model 3 side camera. It's actually much cooler than the Model S, which is funny. And then down here, that says hot spot, but that's because it's just hot compared to the surroundings, so it's like 16 degrees. But the windshield's all very, very cold. Okay, so there's the baseline. We will start the time lapse. Both cars, we got the Model 3 on this side, Model S on this side. Decided to turn on the heated steering wheel, cause why not? Okay, so cool thing, David's car actually in the top right here has the cold battery. Both have the windshield warmer on. And yeah, there you go. The only thing though is we did put the Model 3 out a little after the Model S, so the Model 3 does not have as much snow. Keep that in mind. Okay, we got stopwatch up here, five minutes just hit. Model 3 is at 81 degrees, Model S is at 73. Oh, checking internet connection. There we go. So that is where we stand right now. Okay, so we are at 10 minutes and five seconds. Oh, we need to update down here. There we go. So Model 3 is at 82. Model S is at 72. As you can see here, we can start to see a fault on the Model 3 windshield right there. But like I said, it does have less snow because it wasn't sitting out as long as the Model S was. Originally, we were just gonna do the Model S and then we we're like, hey, let's throw the three out here too. now been 20 minutes so here we drop down to 69 in the model s model 3 is a nice 82 here we go as you can see model 3 that's all started to clear off so is this model s the side window and you can actually see little divots at the front of the main window so it's starting it's just going to take a little bit longer obviously because it had more snow
Okay, so we are coming up on 30 minutes. There. So here you can see model 3 is at 82. 72 for model S. This is how it both is. But the one thing we've noticed is that down here you can see it's no longer red and neither are the windshield so it turned off the defroster which is i think why model s maybe slowed down a little bit because that's not on so what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn everything off i literally just heard it power down and we're gonna turn everything back on to get those windshield defroster see if we can get those back doesn't look like they're coming back huh interesting not sure why that is, but we'll let it keep going. Forty minutes, as you can see, we are still here. Do you find it weird? Maybe it was a bug or something that the defrosters didn't come back on when we turned it off and then back on. Not sure, but here you can see we're at seventy-seven in Model S, eighty-two in Model Three. There we go. You can see a lot more coming off on the Model S, especially on the sides. Model 3, uh, sides and rear are pretty much clean. The top, as you can kind of see, is clean. Just the lower bottom part of the windshield. Okay, so we are at 45 minutes here. Um, here you can see David just got in his car and made sure that the defrost came back on. And we're not going to do that in the Model 3 because it's almost done. So yeah, I find it weird. Maybe there's a bug in the app or something that when I turned it off, then back on, why the window defrost didn't turn back on. I don't know. Elon, if you're listening, I would love to know. But snow's falling off his car. Fifty minutes. Uh, David got in the car, and yeah, check out that 96 degrees in the S, 82 in the three. So he's probably cooking in there. So good on you, David. Oh wow, look, it looks like little eyes now. That's creepy. Anywho, um, he does actually have the defrost on, so that's good. But now we are at 50 minutes. Ten more minutes, and we will be done. Okay, so here is 60 minutes. Uh, there's roughly six inches of snow on that car. This one only had a couple inches, maybe two to three. Um, so, as you can see here, pretty clear David's actually in there. There's the sides, the Model S. Uh, he did clean this door off so he could get in to make sure it turned back on. Um, you can see the rear is really dented in. <laughs> so. Didn't get the rear fully. Model 3 got a lot of it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of cool to see like all the snow like still on like all the body area. So yeah, Model 3 did excellent. I'm pretty sure the S would have done very similar given it had the same amount of snow, but obviously it had more, so it didn't. Um, well, let's see if David will do the windshield wipers. Do the wipers! So, I mean, it actually got quite a lot of the snow. Super impressive. So let's jump into the FLIR real quick, walk around the cars, and uh, see what they look like. Okay, so here's Model S. You can see the cement is hot in relation to the car, which is only one degree. Um, obviously, windshields are gonna be very reflective, but it will actually show us what it is kind of on the other side, which is pretty warm. You can see that autopilot housing is definitely warmer too than the surrounding, so that's cool. Um, you can see this. Now the side camera. Oh yeah, six degrees versus, I don't know, like up to 30. So yeah, it actually looks like maybe the cameras do preheat. Um, nothing on the side pillar though. There's snow there, so let me wipe it off. 
it is glass, so I'm not surprised. And the back, obviously cold. And then the little camera here is actually warm. So that's cool. And then we have model three. This whole panel is warm. That's interesting. Even way down there. So, hmm, I wonder if this tells us about like where all like the compressors and heating elements and everything is, because that's interesting. Okay. So we have the back glass, you can see right there. Let's see the camera on that. Okay, yep, that's definitely heated up. And now the side cameras. I mean, that whole area is kind of heated, but it might just be from internal. You can see the top. And now the side here. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that's totally the camera. It's up to like 40 degrees. There's David. Uh, guess what? Bit of trivia, the wipers don't work unless you're in the driver's seat. Oh, fun fact. I tried turning them on, like who's gonna turn the wipers from the passenger side, but you couldn't, I couldn't turn them on, so I got in the driver's seat and they worked. So fun fact, Yeah. the cameras do preheat. Oh yeah? Well, um, they heat it, up. Even without me in the car? Yeah. We did discover that preheating the car will help get all of the windows clear, but more importantly, it will also start heating up your autopilot cameras, which I found most fascinating. Uh, we definitely saw an increased temperature from, I don't know, just a couple degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to almost 40 degrees Fahrenheit after the 60 minute uh, time that we did on this, I imagine the cameras would start heating up after about five minutes, kind of like everything else. We can test that in a future video if you guys would like to see that. But it is super cold, so I think we're gonna end it here. <laughs> um, wow, <sighs> can you see that? That's not creepy. So that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, for helping sponsor the channel. And if you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, feel free to use the code Tesla Inventory, all one word, at checkout and get 15% off your first order. They do ship internationally, so all you in Europe and China getting ready to take delivery of your cars can actually take advantage of that. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.